Well met, friend. Tell me something. Say you knew someone who committed a truly heinous crime. You know, slaughtering innocents and such. Could they ever be forgiven, or do they deserve to suffer for the rest of their lives? Because that's the scenario here. I've tracked down a man named Gerard Althan. Althan ordered the massacre of hundreds of innocent people during Rancer's War, and then vanished. After ten years, I finally found him. I just need help bringing him in. I need someone to fight their way into the Barrows and find his hiding place. It shouldn't be too hard. One of Althan's old cronies came to help him escape. Trolls got to him, but he must have been carrying a clue to Althan's hiding place. You're smart. Working for the Ring of Daggers has two great benefits. First, we reward our friends generously. Second, we don't worry about trials and laws and silly things like that. Get Althan to Horfrost Downs, and he will pay for what he did. You certainly can. I may or may not be obliged to answer, but you can certainly ask. Althan was King Rancer's spymaster and head of security. During the war, when High King Emmerich struck an alliance with the Orcs, Rancer went mad. He had Althan round up hundreds of innocent Orc civilians and put them to the sword. Of course, but that makes him no less guilty. The dog that bites cannot blame his master for letting him off the chain. Althan willfully organized the slaughter of innocent people, and he will pay for that crime no matter how long it takes. If you must know, he will die, and most likely it will be a slow and painful death. The contract is with High King Emmerich. He hired us to track Althan down. We can bring him in dead or alive. It's our choice. In addition to his crimes, Althan made the mistake of crossing the Ring of Daggers. He tortured and killed the lover of our leader, Copper Diarrhea. All that remained of that man was an eye. I suspect Copper will begin with one of Althan's eyes. We work on a contractual basis. Guards, soldiers, scouts, couriers, whatever the client needs, we provide. We swear allegiance to no one, but work for a variety of interests within the Daggerfall Covenant. Often, even for the High King himself. No, it's not that simple. You can't hire the Ring of Daggers to fight in some silly war or a military campaign. We take contracts for specific tasks, which require a few agents. And we maintain our own chain of command. I'll be having a drink at the Dusklight Inn in Horfrost Downs. I'll wait for you there. Who's out there? To for you? I don't think so. Who do you work for? The Ring of Daggers? If so, you're wasting your time. You can't get in. And I have enough supplies to survive in here for quite some time. However long it takes until my friends come for me. Turin is dead? You saw him? Oh, God. I... I needed him to get me out. The door can only be opened from the outside. I don't have enough supplies to last forever. I'll die in here! Of course you will. And then you'll hand me over to the Ring of Daggers. I'm no fool. I am in a bind here, though. Perhaps I can persuade you to have mercy. You should know that, despite my past, I'm actually a very good person now. Well, no. There's a letter in my pack, though. It would give me some credibility. 
I dropped my pack out in the barrows, but if you'll find and read that letter, I'll tell you how to open the door. And if you still want to turn me in, so be it. Uh, all right, uh, I believe I dropped my pack by an altar just north of the crypt. You'll find the letter in there. If you read it, you'll see. I'm a changed man. I've done everything I can to make amends. Please, just read it and come back. You're back! Oh, thank the gods. The walls of this crypt are closing in on me now. Ever since I realized I might die in here. Funny how the mind does that. Did you find my pack, though? Did you find the letter? Very well. I hope it's giving you something to think about before you decide my fate. Regardless, I suppose it's my turn to hold up my end of the bargain. Unfortunately, this door was designed to be absolutely secure against intruders. The door is controlled by two levers on either side of the barrel above. As if that weren't enough, you'll need keys to activate the levers. The keys are buried inside the Dorel and Tamrith family crypts. I am sorry this is so much trouble. Yes, and then I get to find out what my fate is to be. I hope you're really thinking about this. Now look upon the face of the one who will be my judge. I hope you understand that I am in no way trying to deny my past wrongdoings. 
Nor would I argue that those acts should be forgiven. If you read the letter in my pack, then you at least know that I've done what I can in the years since the war to make amends for the things I did. Even if you decide to hand me over to the Ring of Daggers, I will at least die knowing I tried. No. I prefer you take your time making this choice. I need to get out of these barrels either way. So you can take me to the Ring of Daggers, or you can take me to the other side of the barrels and set me free. It's up to you. I'm yours to do with as you will. Whatever you decide, I will go along. My fate is in your hands. Of course, if there's anything I can tell you to increase my chance of meriting your mercy, I am more than happy to oblige. What would you like to know? Please... Don't ask me about that. Anything but that. Ask me about the things I've done since the war. The things I did under King Ranser. They were terrible. Hard to think about, let alone speak of. Please, anything but that. Fine, damn it. You want to know what I did? I'll tell you. When the orcs turned on us, Ranser ordered me to arrest and interrogate all orcs in Rivenspire. And I did. If they resisted or seemed suspicious, I had them executed. There. I know that one can never truly wipe the past clean. And certainly not in my case. But I've done what I can. I've, I've sent gold and gifts to the orphanage in Orsinium. And I've spent years tracking down ancient tomes of orc history for their library. Um, yes? I've fed stray dogs, uh, opened doors for old ladies, and handed out moon sugar candy to children. That may sound petty, but the point is that I've tried. Well, originally the plan was quite genius. The Ring of Daggers has been on my trail for years, and everywhere I've gone, I've made sure to have a backup plan. When I came to Moira's Hope, I found this tomb, and I added a few safeguards. Well, part of that was the original design of the crypt, but I like that about it. The Ring of Daggers has ways of getting inside a man's head. I worried they might glamour me and trick me into opening the door. This seemed like a failsafe. I'm yours to do with as you will. Whatever you decide, I will go along. My fate is in your hands. You followed through? Excellent. I worried he'd convince you to set him free. Then we'd have had to track down both of you. That would have been unpleasant. Forget that, though. Can't tell you how glad I am to finally have this bastard in custody. You've earned my esteem, my friend, and that's no small thing. You're a friend to the Ring of Daggers now. I have a feeling we'll cross paths again someday. May the gods watch over you until then. Heard you've been trying to make amends, old man. You know what I think? The only redemption for a murderous bastard like you is a slow, painful death, and we're going to give it to you. Get up! You can rot in the stockade for a little while first. Lock him up. Make sure to spit in his face every hour, too. With pleasure. <laughs> My 
My father was working here during Rancer's War. He disappeared and we never heard from him again. I've been looking forward to meeting this man Althen for a long time. I guess this is what I deserve. Very well. I accept my fate.